Hi Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily, and this is Katie Bug Creations. And this is a channel about cross stitching and other crafting as it comes around. Uh, this is my second try recording this video. I got all the way through the last one and it didn't record. Had the little uh, timer and everything, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. So we're gonna try this again. I'm also parched, forgive me. So, I even have my, my list of things. First thing, an update on something I talked about in my last video. Uh, Weeks Dye Works has changed the name of Confederate Gray. So I talked about this last week, um, about how stitchers have been trying to get Weeks to change the name of Confederate Gray to something else. And we hadn't heard anything, we hadn't heard anything. And, um, you know, I wasn't gonna buy any more weeks. Well, Mary Ashcraft, she's on Instagram and on Floss too, reached out to them, like one last ditch effort. And Monday morning, she heard back. So this is, this is like 12 hours after I posted my last video. Monday morning, she heard back. They are changing the name to Gray. It's, it's just plain Gray. So that name is being populated through uh, shops and stuff. They will need to sell out the old remaining stock, but Weeks is changing the name. Yay, market forces. So, that's great. Um, you know, nice little victories. So as for me this week, I have not gotten a lot done. Um, we did manage to take the Christmas stuff down this afternoon. Um, you know, it's today, January 17th, 11 days past Epiphany. I just now took the tree down. I don't care. I'm not sorry. But my husband went back to work, back to work. He went back to his office here at the house, um, January 4th. And then faculty at my college returned this last Monday. So I have been working on getting stuff ready for this semester, which starts on Tuesday. So I am teaching five classes, um, two of which are exactly the same. So we have, basically I have four different class, four, I'm an English teacher, not a math teacher. I have, I have five classes, but four different preparations I guess I have to make. Um, but I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Um, I need to make the opening announcements on my course pages and then I think I'm ready to go. So if I do that tomorrow morning, I should be. We are uh, remote, at least I am. I am 100% remote this semester. Um, a lot of my colleagues are. I think we're. my college is only offering very, very few uh, classes in person. Like the technical classes are being offered in person because you have to, you can't learn welding or phlebotomy online. Um, and then like the other classes that aren't hands-on, I think there, there are a few that are being put out um, in person under very, very strict protocols. I'm not teaching any of those. So that's what I have been up to. But because I've been up to that, I have not gotten a lot of stitching done because I've been trying to get everything else done. But I will show you what progress I have made. So the first thing I have is my Anna Green Gables piece from Heaven and Earth Designs. And I'll put a picture of that in right here. What I have is this. Now I had been hoping I was going to get page five finished. I didn't, not even close. Um, part of that's been just because I had a lot to do this week. Part of it's been this section here has had a ton of confetti. And if you don't know what confetti means, um, it means there are a lot of color changes in a very small amount of area and each one only has five or six stitches. Um, that's a lot. So I stitch cross country. I just go page all the way across. Um, I typically work one page at a time. There are a few over here, but I typically work one page at a time and I work all the colors in that section and then I uh, tie off my thread. I don't do parking, which would be where, 
you took a color here and then you went down to the next square where it was and pulled it through and then pulled your needle off and went on to another one parking your thread I don't do that um, I understand how it just doesn't work for me um, there's too much stuff I get too tangled I get too mixed up so this works for me um, and I'm hoping I can get this I'm hoping I can get this page and this partial page finished this week um, we'll see if that happens this is the first week of school I have tomorrow off which is Martin Luther King Day but the first week of school tends to be I don't want to say slower but I don't even want to say I have less to do I don't have any grading to do the first week of school so a lot of the demands on my time the first week of school are not as significant as they will be later in the semester but that's what I'm hoping for and this is on I'm stitching this on 22 count hardanger um, one strand of floss over one square Ooh, go back Kermit so that's it now my outside project outside um, because I stitch on this outside while my kids are playing in the backyard has been the uh, winter not the winter one anyway the shooting star stitch along from historic steak mooster and I'll put an insert a picture of that right here so I have this I have changed the colors and the color conversion that I'm using will be in the description box below so I'm using these blues and silver and grays and I started I got I guess the rest of this swirl finished and then I started filling in this block I'm not thrilled with this color um, when I compared the two grays and this is 535 535 and this is 317 I think I think um, when you hold them up on bobbins they look very different and they don't look nearly as different here so I'm not super thrilled um, but it also isn't showing up real well here so I'm hoping that I don't know now that I'm looking at it again the 317 is much a, a much bluer gray and this is much darker gray so it shows up a little better than I thought we'll see I'm not unhappy with it um, if I was going to do it again though I think I would change the color of the swirls to something different um, the swirls are 775 DMC 775 and I don't know that that's the right color for these I don't know what would be the right color but I don't think that's the right color I worked on Ms. Bingley's library and Ms. Bingley's library is by Plum Street Samplers and I think I put away the um, the cover page so I'll insert a picture of what that looks like right here so I worked on Ms. Bingley's library and I have finished this stack of books, this flower and stem, and the planter. Now, the lighting here is not good because it is nine o'clock at night in my bedroom because my kids are asleep. So the lighting isn't great, but this is not showing a lot of var variegation in good light the only part of this that's showing a lot of variegation is the roof which is in weeks dye works swamp water I think I think that's right and then the the planter is in terrapin um, I have to say though this pink it's a red pear I love this color it's so pretty it is so pretty and I don't really care that I'm not seeing a lot of variegation with it because it's just such a pretty shade of pink I love it so that's what I've gotten done on this and this is on 28 count Carolina linen and again I'm doing that one over one so you know teeny tiny little stitches 
Oh, I should say, I'm doing the Historic Steak Mooster piece on 28 count even weave, whatever one. Because I have started, I really start loving uh, these tiny little stitches, but I am not, I don't think I'm ever gonna go further than 28 count, um, whatever one. I I find it difficult to work with, any, any smaller than that, I think. Um, I am in all of Ymir, who is almond underscore M N M S, so almond M and M's on Instagram, who's doing one over one on like 56 count linen. I'm like, that's 56 stitches to an inch. It's gorgeous. I could never ever do it. I don't, even with glasses, I don't think I could do it. So, last thing I worked on. I have no willpower. That's not true. I have willpower. It's all saved for Weight Watchers. I bought a new pattern. And then I started working on it. Because what else am I supposed to do with a new pattern, right? So I don't have a good cover page, so I will insert a picture of it right here. This is from Ink Circles. So Tracy Horner of Ink Circles, Celtic Quilts, Kentucky Chain. And this is my progress so far. So I've done all this today, just, just today. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm doing this on 18 count ivory Ada. Um, and I'm doing this two strands because I like the coverage the two strands gives on Ada. It very gives it a very tapestry, tapestry type look. So I am making a couple of changes to the to the colors. Um, the original pattern was charted for floss that comes from a company that's no longer around. So Tracy has provided um, a floss conversion for DMC. And for Weeks Dye Works. I'm using DMC. It's what I have. But I don't really like some of the shades of the DMC. Um, there are three shades of green uh, charted in the pattern. There's these two. And then there's a third shade of green for the stem. And I don't like it. I don't think it looks... It, 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 something about the shade didn't quite look right to me. So I'm just using this inside border shade here. There is a second color of pink... Um, that's not really pink. It's more of a, it's almost an orangey pink, I guess would be the way. And this, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to use it either. I'm going to use, um, this is 223 and I think I'm going to use 3721 to go with it. There's also another background color that's very yellow. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to use that either. I think I'm just going to make all of the background this background all the way across the piece. I'm going to use a darker shade of kind of this same hue for the darker bits. Now, Celtic chains, Celtic knots, okay, they go in and out. And so the other section of the chain that goes in is meant to be done in DMC Coloris with the variegated thread. I can't find it. Like, I can't find it. Um, I can get it from one, two, three stitch but I'm not about to make an order for one scan of floss. So what I've decided is that I, instead, I think I'm going to tweed 223 and 3721 together for the rest of the inside. So it'll get all of the colors um, throughout the piece. It'll kind of call back from piece to piece, to, from, from piece to piece, from section to section is what I mean. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So. Besides, I I started looking at my stuff today. I'm like, I don't have enough projects to be a floss tuber. I just don't have enough under, I don't have enough projects to be a floss tuber. Don't tell my husband. So, I have that. I have almost no knitting progress to report. Um, I got about an inch, an inch and a half on Katie's scarf. Um... That's been it. 
I usually uh, knit during evening prayer. My uh, church streams evening prayer six days a week. So I usually knit during that. And, um, you know, it's kind of meditative. It kind of gets you, I don't know. I, I've heard people say it's kind of like praying a rosary, but, you know, it's meditative. Um, I can't knit if I'm leading evening prayer, which I have been half of this week. Um, our priest, unfortunately, had to uh, be absent due to the death of his mother, which was has been rough um, for him and his family. Just, and so I, I've, I and another lady at our church have been doing evening prayer. I haven't been able to knit. The other half of the week, um, my children don't sleep. They're five and three. They don't sleep. So as soon as the kids went to bed, so did I. I just didn't, I, so I haven't done any knitting. The other reason I haven't done any knitting is because my knitting needles that I ordered from Amazon, they have vanished into the ether. I never got a tracking number from the third party seller through Amazon, um, said it was on its way. Did it disappear in the depths of the postal service? Did it never get sent? I have no idea. So, I had to go into town yesterday and I went to Joyans. Joyans is really good about enforcing mask usage, that sort of thing. So I ran in, I got this, I got some floss, I got out. I'm wearing two masks everywhere I go now too. So please don't think it was, was a joy ride. I had to get out of the house or I was going to lose my mind. So I have this. So these are the right needles for the blue yarn that my mom got me for Christmas. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit a big triangle. I'm just going to use a washcloth pattern, like a, like a from the corner washcloth pattern. I'm going to make a big triangle. That'll be perfect. I don't know why I've been overthinking this so much, other than the fact that overthinking is probably one of my best skills. All right. What else have I done? I did make an order from one, two, three stitch this week. I ordered some gentle art sampler threads um, that I needed because if I'm going to restart the tractor scene for my mother-in-law, the one from Stony Creek Collections, I need some, I needed Lexington green, I needed Tin roof, tin roof, I think. I need wood rose. So I've got those, and I needed some more blackboard for um, a different piece. Wood rose is gone. I've, it was in stock very briefly last week, and I missed it. Um, one, two, three, six doesn't have it. Fire poppies doesn't have it. So I guess I will wait until it comes back in stock and then make another order that's larger than just one skein of floss. Oh darn. That's basically it. Which seems like it's been enough. I don't know how, oh my gosh, what is up with my hair? I have fuzzies everywhere and there's a cat who is trying to get to the bedroom door. That's probably a sign I need to be done. Give me a like and a subscribe if you think this video has earned it. Please leave me a comment below. I am thrilled to read them. Um, had some really nice uh, comments that I really appreciate. Um, if you got questions, let me know. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Katie underscore bug underscore creations and you can see kind of my updates of progress etc as I go along. Other than that, have a good week. Be safe. Do something kind for somebody this week. It's okay if that somebody's you. Bye, y'all.